Let's get to it. YouTube, what is going on, you delicious guardians? Uh, I got a pretty big leak for you. This is uh, not my footage. This is from Toffee Sandwich. I'm going to link his channel in the description. Uh, he was able to go in and record all this. I don't know how, but able to take a look at all of these uh, vendor weapons and also some gear. And what's, I'm actually going to slow some of this down and talk about my thoughts on it now. Keep in mind, guys, remember, this is all subject to change. We have no idea when the House of Wolves is coming out. And um, he made... He, he told me a few times to make sure that I say the light levels are placeholders, uh, to really not take those, or that the light levels are wrong, I think, or something like that. But either way, I'm not concerned with the gear, I just want to see these weapons. So I'm going to slow this down a little bit, because he's just burning through it, showing you every single perk. But I want to slow it down and talk about it. And also, again, leave me comments in the description what your thoughts are on all these cool weapons. Now check this one out, the Rock Sasha TS3 Compact. Look at that impact, look at that rate of fire. Does that scream Vanquisher? Is that the House of Wolves version of the Vanquisher? But it's got spray and play and persistence, so I am going to love this thing if this is really there a day one when House of Wolves comes out. Because uh, on my Vanquisher, the one I bought, it's got spray and play, and I think glass half full. But having persistence and spray and play, man, this thing's going to be awesome. It's going to be so accurate, I see this as being a great PvP gun. And of course, right after that, they have to throw in a uh, Dr. Nope type gun. Why do I always bring up Dr. Nope? The Dreamcatcher Arc. And it's not Arc damage, though. Uh, glass half full, perfect balance, lightweight, snapshot, and life support. And I don't think I've ever seen life support before. That's when, uh, if you recover from death, you get more ammo and speeds up your reload. So, is that new? I don't think I've ever seen it before. Alright, then we got this uh, long grail thing. It's a pulse rifle, grenadier, high caliber rounds, flared magwell, snapshot, and third eye. But look at the impact. Impact looks pretty good on that thing. I think I will definitely dig that. Then we got uh, another pulse rifle that's much higher impact, uh, slower rate of fire. Let's see what it's got. It's got head seeker, uh, hammer forge, skip round, snapshot, and full auto. Well, I'm definitely gonna buy that thing. I think. Now next on the menu is a uh, scout rifle. So we got the Sentac. Now let's see. It's got uh, let's see. Rate of fire is pretty low. Very high impact. Pretty good range. Take it to the knees. So bonus when you crouch. Field Scout, Fitted Stock, and Armor Piercing Rounds with Grenadier. That's not bad. I would like some better perks with that one, though. Uh, let's look at this Zero Point LOTP. So, uh, basically the same stats it looks in terms of rate of fire. Mulligan, pfft, I hate that perk. Field Scout, Send It, Armor Piercing Rounds, and also Outlaw. That's actually, I, I, you know what, I like the second one more than I do the first one. We have the Great Refusal. Let's see, it's got Clown Cartridge, pfft. Uh, low rate of fire, pretty good impact. Let's say Quick Draw, Perfect Bounce, and Explosive Rounds. I like that. Final round, so last round of the magazine does bonus damage. That's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, fusion rifles. Let's see. Hellfire, a pylon. Uh, look at that impact. Holy, du whatever. <laughs> um, it's got accelerated coils. Okay, so you could speed up the charge rate a little bit, but yeah, look at that impact. Who's next is the final part. That's a pretty cool fusion rifle. Shoddy, what do we got here? Oh, I see crowd control. Uh, is that grenadier? Yeah, so it's uh, got grenadier. Rate of fire is pretty fast for a shotgun, I think. Impact's not so great. Field scout, hammer forge, lightweight. Crowd control. Yeah, that would be good. But, you know, see, all these, I like getting drop versions because they're all different. All right, let's see the sniper rifle. Uh, this is like a Prudence type, right? Yeah, very, very low impact. Unflinching, lightweight, armor piercing rounds, perfect balance, and grenadier. Yeah, I would definitely pass on that thing. It's, it's just like a Prudence. Uh, let's see, white field, silver scythe, scythe, whatever you want to call it. Oh, let's see, persistence, perfect balance, hammer forge, quick draw. And Grenadier, but man, that's that's got some hella impact and low rate of fire. I like it. Uh, we got a Scorch Torch. All right, this is pretty cool. Uh, I think that first one's unflinching. Yeah, unflinching. Quick draw, heavy payload, javelin, and clown clutcher. So nothing with tracking. But anyway, these things would be cool for just drop type things. Hard luck charm. Oh god, great! Another uh, low rate of fire, high impact weapon. All right, so this is coming from the Vanguard. Let's see, 25 rounds in a magazine. Persistence. I like that. Quick draw. Uh, Hammer Forge, that's good. Armor Piercing Rounds and Life Support. Hmm, I think I'm gonna have to purchase that one too. All right, next one. Again, I always gotta throw in some sort of Dr. Nope type gun. What is that, Glass Half Full, I think? Yeah, Glass Half Full, Perfect Balance, Hammer Forge, and Armor Piercing Rounds with Third Eye. That's eh, not bad. I'll definitely pass on that thing though. Uh, let's see, I don't, I'm not gonna try to pronounce this one, the Tau. We'll just call it the Tau. Uh, Pulse Rifle, let's see, Impact. Uh, so High Impact, Low Rate of Fire. Got Head Seeker, Hammer Forge, Third Magwell, Perfect Balance, and Hip Fire. Mm, I'd like better perks on that one. Let's check out this other Pulse Rifle. So, let's see. Uh, impact kind of low, but faster fire rate. It's got. Looks like it's got Grenadier. Is that the first one? Yeah, Grenadier. Is that high caliber rounds? Flared Magwell, Perfect Balance, and Full Auto. Mm, not bad. I mean, well, for the rate of fire, yeah, Full Auto makes sense. All right, one. I don't know. I'm not going to try to pronounce. Is that Mulligan again? Get rid of Mulligan. I hate Mulligan. 
Let's see, Snapshot, Lightweight, High Caliber Rounds. What's the last one? Outlaw. Okay, that's not bad. I like it. And Trust Fall. Let's see. Let's see. Low rate of fire, very high impact, nice range. Is that final? Yeah, final round. Looks like it's got Field Scout. That's cool. Lightweight. Armor Piercing Rounds. What's the last one? Firefly. Oh, everyone's going to be buying that one. You know it. Let's see the hand cannon. I'm not going to try to pronounce that one. Let's see. What is that? Is that Return to Sender? I think it's the first one. Yeah, Return to Sender. We got Quick Draw, Single Point Sling, Skip Rounds, and Final Round. Oh, that's not bad. I'd like a drop version of that one. Let's take a look at the Pulse Rifle. Give Take 0.955. So, decent impact, faster charge rate, double down, accelerated coils. That's good. Skip Rounds, and who's next? So, that's not bad. Again, I'm not really into fusion rifles. Shotty, let's take a look at this. Okay. Uh, spray and play. I like that. I love any type of fast reload shotgun. Field scout. That's good. Perfect balance. That nah, not needed. Single point sling. And final round. That thing's going to be nice for the crucible. Let's see the sniper. Uh, impact. Um, not so great. Very good range. I don't know what to think of it. It's not a prudence. It's got unflinching field scout. Skip rounds and clown cartridge. Eh, I'd like that. Maybe a dropped version. All right. Let's see. Bury the truth. Uh, look at this thing. Very low range. Uh, persistence. Perfect balance. Hammer Forge. Skip rounds and Grenadier. Mm, not really digging that one. Now for the rocket launcher, it's Arc. Uh, huge blast radius. Let's see. Ooh, is that first one cluster? Yeah, cluster bombs. Perfect balance. Light Magwell. Javelin and Third Eye. That's not bad. You know, I think I would pick that one up for a rocket launcher. So for the rest of the video, I'm just going to let it play out for you, and uh, Toffee Sandwich goes through everything. And again, he said that these are just placeholders. See there? You can see light level's 27. That's wrong. It's not going to be light level 27. But um, we've seen pictures of, the, uh, pictures of these before. I know uh, they've leaked all over the place, but looks pretty damn cool. I like how they kind of, I don't know, for some reason, the Crucible gear reminds me it has like a uh, sports-type look to it for something. Like they're ready to go into play a game of soccer or football, as you guys call it over in Europe. So anyway, that's it for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Drop a like in it only if you see fit make sure you share it if you enjoyed it follow me on twitter at mesa sean check out my stream links will be in the description and that's it you stay beautiful guardians